Okay, so let's start uh, by create a new function that will help you will help us, uh, which is find person by ID using the ID of type long, and let's say that this will be it will return an uh, person here. Um, and this will be our person DAO that find by ID. Uh, actually, we can use this. <coughs> so this this could be null if we don't find anything. And we will use the ID here, right? So for this find by ID, we must return a person response. Let's use um, this that find person by ID. And after that, we can use our extension to person response. So let's write the find all. This will be um, this that person dial that find all. But this is a list of person. We need a list of uh, person response. So we'll need to use a map here. This map function uh, will map a person to another kind of object so we can make a reference here to our uh, extension so in that in in this way for each uh, element of the list we will create a map to a person response and create a new list with only person response so now let's create our uh, save method. So let's create another function right over here, which is private fun save or update, and this will receive uh, a person object. And uh, let's use let's return a person response, and let's use this that person DAO that save. I'm creating this because this save method uh, will save or update the object if it exists or not in the database. We don't have one method for save and another one for update. So um, let's let's pass here the person and then let's use our extension to a person response. So let's go back here to the save method. Uh, we will need to transform our add person request to a person and we have our transformer for that so let's write add request add person request transformer that transform let's pass the add person request and I want all these to or this that save or update person right so let's go to our update method which is kind kind of similar to the save but first we need to find the person by the ID so let's write something like person and let's say that this will be uh, let's find that person by the ID using the ID provided in the request um, if this is null let's say that I, I want to uh, throw an exception right like illegal state exception and let's put a message like something like okay this ID uh, not found okay so I have the person so uh, what I need to do now is just make the update to the database so basically I will write save or update person but at this point we don't modify anything yet so let's use another uh, feature for from Kotlin which is the apply function this is basically a lambda and everything that we put here this is like a block function so uh, we could we could do 
uh, operation inside the person object and after the lambda is being executed it will continue with the flow so I can do the updates here and after those updates I uh, will dispatch uh, this method so here I can uh, write the this keyword here is in reference to the person so let's write this dot name equals to our update request that name uh, what we have here all right this is a a, a bad so it's a final let, let, let's change this to a bar uh, let's go back to our um, service uh, which is here uh, and then the last name let's put update request that last name and once again for sure this is a final bar so let, let's change it um, what else so after that the only thing that is missing is the return okay um, and last but not least let's write our delete which is just this dot uh, person DAO that delete by ID okay so we have here our service layer with all the business logic uh, we still we still need to modify our person to be able to add some metadata to tell the the framework of the library in this case which is Ibernet uh, following the JPI standards to tell in the uh, that this person will map some table in our database so let's let's start uh, working to to do that 